run grab the youngins, folks. It's time for Lucinda Illusions Bible Stories for Kids. Gather around, boys and girls. Today we're going to demonstrate just how brutally fucked up the Bible is by opening it to Genesis and realizing that we've been highlighting horrible stories from this book for three years, and I still haven't gotten around to the story of Abraham and Isaac. So once upon a time, there was a man named Abraham. And Abraham was a God-fearing man, which is a good thing because when somebody really loves you like God loves you, you should be terrified of them all the time. And Abraham was married to a woman named Sarah, who he loved very much, even though he did occasionally pimp her out to Egyptians. But unfortunately, Sarah was barren, which means that she couldn't have any babies. And as we all know, the purpose of women is to have babies, so she was very sad. But one day, Abe agreed to whack off a little bit of his penis for God, so God said if he'd make all his slaves do it too, he'd let Abe's wife have a baby after all even though she was almost a 100 years old. Well, needless to say, Abraham and Sarah were both a little skeptical, but not so skeptical that they wouldn't modify the penises of humans who'd already been stripped of their will and dignity. So Abe set to whacking off foreskins, and that made God so happy that he let Sarah have a baby after all. And they named that baby Isaac. Of course, Abraham loved Isaac very much because he was a boy and thus had value. But when God saw his favorite penis mutilator devoting so much attention to his new baby, he got very jealous. I mean, sure, Abe had whacked off the baby's dick flap and everything, but he wasn't paying God anywhere near as much attention since the baby was born. So God decided to set up an elaborate ruse to see if Abe still loved him best. So, channeling his best overly suspicious girlfriend from an 80s sitcom persona, God spoke to Abe one night. And Abe said, How you doing, God? And God said, Pretty good. How you liking that new baby, Abe? And Abe said, I like him a lot. And God said, Good. Just need you to do me one little favor. And Abe said, Anything, God. And God said, I'm going to need you to murder that baby of yours. Well, needless to say, Abraham was pretty bummed when he heard that. But hey, when the voices in your head tell you to murder a baby, you murder a baby, am I right? So Abraham woke Isaac up and told him they had to go up on the mountain to make a sacrifice to God. And since it wasn't until later that day that Isaac would never trust a fucking thing his dad said again, he smiled and tagged along like an obedient boy should. But along the way, Isaac noticed something was missing. After all, when they went up to the mountain to offer God a sacrifice, they always brought a sacrifice. So Isaac said, Dad, I think you forgot the lamb or the goat or whatever. But Abe assured him that, no, he hadn't. And this should have been enough to clue Isaac in that the shit was going down, but apparently it wasn't, because it wasn't until they got all the way up to the top of the mountain and Abraham started tying him up on the stone altar that he realized that he was going to be the sacrifice. Oh, no! So Isaac pleaded with his dad, Please don't murder me, Pops, please, he begged. But Abraham told him to stop being such a little bitch about it. So he did. And then... Just as Abraham was raising a knife to stab his son to death with, an angel appeared and stopped him. You are totally going to do it, though, the angel said. And Abraham kind of looked at his feet and said, was not. But everybody knew he was lying. And everybody lived traumatized ever after. The end. 